Riddhi Parikh, your personal life organizer, and welcome to the first quarterly review of 2013. This is a summary of all my tips and strategies from the last quarter, because sometimes you just need reinforcement or a reminder of a project you meant to get to but you didn't, or you started and you haven't finished, or just a blog post that you need to go back and watch again. So enjoy, and I will see you next week with another new tip on how to keep your life organized. Okay, so here's the solution to reaching and keeping your goals all year long. Break down your big goal into little mini goals and then keep building upon them. But if one of your goals this year is to break yourself and free yourself of clutter both physically and mentally, one form of entertainment or distraction that you should avoid is shopping. Sure, everything that's in your office has some purpose. But if it's not a purpose for you to get your work done, get it off of your desk and out of your office. You know that a task will take the amount of time that you give for it. So by creating a deadline, you create this sense of urgency that will really help you get it accomplished. Only one question that you need to ask yourself. Does this item make me feel good? Get rid of expired or old items. What about those condiments like that barbecue sauce from last summer? I think it's time to cut the cord, my friend. So as far as your food, try to pick out a menu of food that's easy to make dishes and that you can make ahead of time. So either the day before or really the week before would be great so you can freeze them. That I can achieve my goals, waste less time, get more done, get to places better, and ultimately just be happier. Family, make this a family affair every evening. Make it part of your routine, spend 10 or 15 minutes for everyone to gather up their stuff and get it into their respective boxes or containers. What you do is plan out your menu on Sunday for the entire week, what you're gonna have every day. Then this will help you a lot with your grocery shopping time, you'll spend a lot less time with it. So basically, all the information you have in your wallet, you can keep it stored right on your phone. So you have access to it anytime, anywhere, completely convenient and secure. After you've gotten everything out of your purse, Divide up your stuff in like categories. So get all your makeup stuff together, maybe get all your writing stuff together, like a pen and a notepad. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't be shy to leave a comment below about which tip really resonated with you or that you were happy to receive a reminder about. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Ooh, I'm getting in the Valentine mood.